English for Professionals, Lesson One, Commuting. Let's do a quick check. What does commuting refer to? Payment, travel, or job skills? Commuting refers to travel, travel to work, and it could be by car, by train, or other forms of transportation. In this lesson, let's learn these words: commute, commuter, commuter rail, carpool, telecommute. Now, some of these words may already be familiar to you, but what I'd like to do is make sure that you not only understand them, but are able to use them in your own speech. Listening practice one. Listen and try to understand the highlighted words. Not everyone is lucky enough to live close to work or work at home like I do. My husband, for example, commutes to Boston every day, and because there are so many commuters in the Boston suburbs and in the surrounding states, traffic can be pretty bad. His morning commute alone takes between one and two hours. It would be nice if more people carpooled, but the truth is, not everyone works in the same part of the city or has the same schedule. One alternative that my husband sometimes uses is the commuter rail. It's a convenient alternative because the trains have Wi-Fi. That means you can spend your commute surfing the internet. You can listen to music or read the news. Ideally, though, I think there would be a balance—a balance between going to the office and telecommuting. Do you know anyone who telecommutes? I think in the future there will be more telecommuting. It's a good alternative. It saves time and saves resources. Do you agree? In that first listening, you may not have understood all of my words, but hopefully you understood the meanings of these words. Let's check and see that you did. How would you define the word commute? This word could be a noun or a verb. As a noun, we can define commute as your trip to work. Look at these collocations for commute. Collocations are common phrases, groups of words that commute commonly appears in: the morning commute, the evening commute, have a long or short commute. We ask, "How long is your commute?" And you can answer, "I have a thirty-minute commute." As a verb, we can define commute as travel to work. Note how we commonly use this as a verb. You can commute from a place, commute to a place, and commute by a type of transportation. How would you define commuter? Note this word is a noun. A commuter is a person who travels to work every day. Note, however, that a commuter can also be a person who travels a long distance to school every day. In the context of this lesson, we'll only talk about people who work and commute. Now let's define commuter rail. This is a noun, a compound noun. Commuter rail is the system of passenger trains that take people to and from work. Note how we commonly use this word. You can take the commuter rail, use the commuter rail, or buy a commuter rail pass, which means you don't have to buy a ticket for each ride, but pay one price for the whole week or the whole month. How would you define the word carpool? This could be a noun or a verb.
let's define it as a noun. Carpool is the act of sharing a car ride to and from work every day, along with the travel costs. As a noun, we often say that someone is in a carpool with whom? With which other people? As a verb, you can simply say who you carpool with. Let's define telecommute. This is a verb. Telecommute means work for a company from a home office via phone and the internet. Some jobs require employees to telecommute every day and there are jobs that only allow it sometimes so you have the option or choice of telecommuting on occasion. Please note one important difference. If you work from home, you're telecommuting. If you work at home, there's not necessarily an office that you correspond with. It simply means that you do your business at home. You probably work independently, like I do. Listening Practice 1 with Captions Listen a second time to the opening talk. Try to focus on the details now. Not everyone is lucky enough to live close to work or work at home like I do. My husband, for example, commutes to Boston every day. And because there are so many commuters in the Boston suburbs and in the surrounding states, traffic can be pretty bad. His morning commute alone takes between one and two hours. It would be nice if more people carpooled, but the truth is not everyone works in the same part of the city or has the same schedule. One alternative that my husband sometimes uses is the commuter rail. It's a convenient alternative because the trains have Wi-Fi. That means you can spend your commute surfing the internet. You can listen to music or read the news. Ideally though, I think there would be a balance a balance between going to the office and telecommuting. Do you know anyone who telecommutes? I think in the future there will be more telecommuting. It's a good alternative. It saves time and saves resources. Do you agree? Question 1. Jennifer and her husband live in the city of Boston. Is this true? or false? This is false. We live outside the city and my husband commutes to Boston. Question 2. It takes Jennifer's husband more than two hours to commute to Boston in the morning. Is this true or false? This is false. It takes him between one and two hours. Question 3. Jennifer's husband sometimes commutes by train. Is this true or false? This is true. He sometimes takes the commuter rail. Question 4. Jennifer believes that telecommuting is on the decline. Is this true or false? The statement is false. I said there would be more telecommuting in the future. We're going to try an exercise right now. And to give you additional practice, I've invited another teacher to help. I think some of you will recognize him. Listening Practice 2. Listen and answer the questions. Hi, I'm Dave Skonda. My friend Jennifer asked if I would work with her on a video, so here I am. Today I'm talking about work. We all have to get to work somehow. Some of us work through the internet, at home, like I'm doing right now. Some people have to commute very far. I've had friends who have commuted over two hours each way to get to work. In my opinion, 
the commute should not matter as much as the job itself. Are you doing something that you're good at, that you enjoy, that you want to learn more about and become a master of? In my opinion, that's the most important thing about a career, a job, a working pursuit. Question 1. According to the video, does Dave have a long commute? No, he doesn't. He said that at the moment he was working at home through the internet. That means there is no commute. Question 2. How long does it take some of Dave's friends to commute to work? Dave said that he has friends who have commuted more than two hours each way. Question 3. Does Dave believe there are jobs worth a long commute? Yes, he does. He said that the commute should not matter as much as the job itself. Question 4. According to Dave, what is the most important thing about a person's job? Dave said that what is most important is that you are doing something that you're good at, that you enjoy, and that you want to learn more about. Special thanks go to Dave Skonda for his contribution to this lesson. Visit Dave on his YouTube channel, English Meeting, or visit his website, www.englishmeeting.com. Additional practice for this lesson is available at EnglishCafe.com. Follow the direct link listed in the video description. Well, that's all for this lesson. Thanks for watching and happy studies. And have a good day at work.